Okay, so yun na nga guys, no? So, good day sa inyong lahat. For today's video, we will be having uh, topics regarding the voyage planning, no? Sa NAB 7, which is uh, lesson 1, no? We will be having a discussion here about uh, the lesson 1 sa ating NAB 7. So, I will be your instructor for this video. So, let's move on with the topics that we will be having. So, a little bit of of introduction when, when it comes to voyage planning. So, uh, shipping cargo from one port to another involves coordinated working of several operations of both land and ship staff. We all know that the real purpose why we have ships is that uh, ang function nun is to, to deliver cargoes or passengers from one port to another. And for it to success uh, to successfully deliver or to, to operate well, there there should be a, a coordination between this land staff and the ship staff no? as well. So the those ship staff na nire-refer natin are those people who are working, well of course, for uh, at sea, no? mga deck officers natin, and yung nasa land, uh, yun yung mga uh, nasa ship operations and management natin. So sila yung nagbubuk ng mga ng mga cargo natin, sila nag arrange sila nag, yung nag, nakikipag-usap sa mga agent natin. So, there should be a cooperation between these two elements for for the the voyage to be a success, no? For the voyage to be very successful. So, one of the most integral parts of a shipping operations is the cargo and voyage planning, which is mainly undertaken by navigational officer of the ship. And as as practiced, no, most of sh of the ships are having na a second officer nila, yung navigating officer. Well, of course, the master has still the the last say, no, with, when it comes to the decision making sa voyage planning natin. Because of course, the master is the owner's representative and he is the kumbaga, the commanding officer on board the ship. Now, talking about passage planning, because passage planning is part of that voyage planning, no. Ang passage plan is a comprehensive birth-to-birth -birth guide developed and used by vessels bridge team to determine the most favorable route to identify potential problems or hazards along the route and to adopt bridge management practices to ensure that the vessel safe passage. So basically kasi para siyang nag ano kapag nagpapaka nagpapagawa ka ng bahay, di ba? Kapag nagpapagawa tayo ng bahay, meron tayong plano na sinusunod. And because we have that plan na sinusunod, uh, we will be able to to kumbaga ma, ma turn into reality natin kung ano yung mga binivisualize natin. The same thing happens here also with the passage planning natin, no? Or sa passage plan natin. Uh, we are planning out, we are trying to lay down first what are the uh, favorable things that we will be encountering and then uh, we will be uh Kumbaga, identifying the, the hazards that we will be encountering on that route. So, yun po, no? Uh, uh, with the use of our passage plan, we, ca we could organize and uh, we could at least, uh, uh, kumbaga, ma maano natin siya, ma, ma put into record and ma put siya, na ma organize siya ang lahat ng mga dapat nating uh, matandaan when it comes to pag execute ng voyage na yan. Then, susunod na lang si monitoring, no? si execution at si monitoring na part ng ating voyage planning. So, sa Solace Chapter 5, no? ang Annex 24 is about voyage planning and the guidelines for voyage planning is si Annex 25. By the way, ang lahat ng content, ang lahat ng content ng, nandito sa ating PowerPoint presentation po na pinipresent ko po sa inyo ang galit po yan sa ating uh, learning management system. Wala, uh, sila po yung nag- uh, nag nag ano nito na uh, nag provide no and we are just uh, I'm just, I I I, put, I placed it in a in a PowerPoint presentation and presented it to you of course with uh confirming naman po with the uh, with the details that uh, it's being presented here okay so proceeding to the passage planning no a passage planning includes a complete description of the ship's passage which is prepared of course as I said by an experienced deck officer of the ship Yun na nga po, um, most of the ships, kasi may mga, may kampanya akong narinig na yung, yung passage flying officer nila is third officer, si tercero. 
Tapos yung, yung second officer, siya yung nagiging uh, parang in charge of the safety equipment. No? Mga net saving appliances, mga, mga uh, firefighting equipment natin. So, yun po. No? Pero most of the ship, no? lahat ng mga halos na ng barko ngayon, no naman is they're, they're they're following the traditional where in the second officer is in charge of this laying out on the routes and of course there is a, this bridge management team who is uh, will who will hold the meeting and of course will discuss everything because lahat naman sila gagamit noon and at the same time si kapitan ang may approval authority noon kasi i-check niya i, i kumbaga i-confirm niya kung tama ba yung nagawa ni second officer this is done to ensure that the ships the ship sticks to the required routes for reaching the port of destination natin. No, so yun po. So in this uh, in this video, introduction pa lang yan, sorry. No, but we will be uh, discussing about the weather routing, no? Ang first part ng ating discussion. No, we will be having weather routing. We will be having uh, uh, discussions about the uh, historical uh, perspectives no about the weather routing natin the climat uh, interpreting the climatological uh, informations that uh, we can receive on board the ship and how we can be able to use that one no for for the voyage planning so let's go with the basic routines of weather routing so ship weather routing develops an optimum track for ocean voyages based on forecasts of weather sea conditions, and the ship's individual characteristics for particular transit. Now, within specified limits of weather and sea conditions, the term optimum is used to mean one is maximum, maximum safety and crew comfort, then pangalawa is minimum fuel consumption, and pangatlo is minimum uh, time underway. So, these are the three things that na kailangan, na kailangan nating itandaan whenever we are choosing which route to take no, or which route ang ating kumbaga dapat na uh, pinaka safe natin na dapat na sundin no so whenever we are choosing uh, which to which saan tayong lugar dadaan or kumbaga uh, wait lang po kasi papalobat yun yun so yun na po no whenever we're talking about uh, ano uh, ship routing, we always make sure that it is the most, or it is the optimum track. So, pag sinabi natin optimum, tatlo ni re refer nun. Maximum safety, pinaka-safe siya. Uh, pangalawa is fuel efficient, yung route na yan. Konti lang yung fuel na ginagamit. And pangatlo, the shortest distance as much as possible because we will be uh, minimizing the time that we are underway. So, tatlong factors na yun ang kinoconsider natin whenever we are uh, considering a route for our ship. No? So, we make sure that it is optimum. Now, the mariner's first resources for route planning in relation to weather are pilot chart atlases, sailing directions like planning guides, and other climat climatological sources such as historical weather data tables as well. So, ang nangyayari, no? is that may mga publications tayo on board the ship para may, meron tayong library doon. Tapos, uh, kukunin natin yun doon. For example, if we will be proceeding into a certain route, tapos pupunta, eh, hanapin natin siya sa publication na yan, babasahin natin sa publications, we will identify the hazards, what are the recommendations whenever we enter into that certain area. So yun, babasahin natin siya sa publications. But with the advent of technology, ang maganda kasi ngayon, when it comes to, you know, the latest na mga uh, innovations na nangyayari sa atin sa maritime industry, uh, nagiging PDF file na po itong mga publications na ito. Tapos, kinocontrol F na lang, no, or hinahanap natin. Mas madali siya yung paghanap at saka yung pag-access because naka-PDF file na lang. Pero, uh, meron din tayong mga panibagong innovations na rin wherein whenever we are choosing a route, on our on our uh, route planning na computer pag pili natin ng mga routes na yon automatic din na magbibigay din siya ng mga uh, details or ng mga kung magkano yung makikita natin sa publications na yon siya, siya na yung nag-extract tapos automatic niyang uh, 
binibigay dyan sa iyo uh, bilang isang file, tapos ikaw, ipiprint mo na lang at saka i-interpret. No? So, medyo naging mas madali yung buhay ngayon, no? With, with that one. Now, these publications give us climatic data for major ocean basins of the world such as wind speed and direction, wave, wave height, frequencies, and ice limits as well. Yun po. So, uh, as I said, we, with the advent of technology, with the advancement of technology nowadays on board the ship, we can now actually monitor, or in some ships, they can actually monitor the weather weather no the weather and they, they can have they can have uh, almost real time na updates when it comes to the weather no kung kung, sa, kung nasaan man sila at the same time meron tayong program on board the ship for in sa ibang ship no sa ibang ship no na meron na where in uh, may kita mo na yung current na weather situation tapos ito yung magiging route mo now there is this certain ship uh, or weather routing agency wherein uh, they recommend to you kung saan ka dadaan. No? Whenever they, they feel that it would be danger for you or it, it would be dangerous for you to pass on your initial route, no? so they would recommend a certain route sa inyo. So, yun po yung maganda sa tinatawag natin ship routing agency na tinatawag natin. No? So, they are acting as an advisory service uh, and attempts to avoid or reduce the effects of specific adverse weather and sea conditions by issuing initial route recommendations prior to sailing and as well as while you are underway, they are trying to recommend to you track changes or diversions to your route as well as uh, they, they give you weather advisories as well. Of course, for the use of our deck officers, no, the master, for uh, wherein they could uh, adjust their their route or they could uh, kumbaga divert whenever it is necessary no so they could turn that favor unfavorable weather condition to be favorable to them if possible no or they could avoid such dangers or they could uh, avoid such hazards to happen to their ship of course by planning ahead with the use of the recommendations of this ship routing agencies natin or weather routing agencies natin no so the initial route recommendations are based on the surveys of weather and sea forecast so kinukuha ng mga agency na ito yung mga weather observations from different weather stations natin tapos uh, they're trying to put it into you know one program or they have this program in them no where in the it is uh, trying to kumbaga collate all the weather information and for them to analyze if passing on that route would be safe so if they feel that they uh, passing on that route will not be safe so they are trying to uh, suggest no or recommend another route of course taking into account the type of vessel hull type speed capability safety considerations, cargo, and loading conditions as well. Now, the vessel's progress is continually monitored, and if adverse weather and sea conditions are forecast along the vessel's current track, no, they recommend you a diversion on the weather. The, they recommend a diversion on the track, on, on the route, or, of course, that weather advisory is translated as well. So, by this process, initial route selection and continued monitoring pro progress for possible changes, yun po yung ginagawa ng ating ship routing agency. No? And they are trying to maximize, of course, both safety and, of course, minimizing the, the time we are, uh, we are spending underway. Of course, we are maximizing as well the use of our speed. So, in providing for optimum sailing, ito na nga po yung sinasabi natin optimum, no? Conditions, advisory service also attempts to reduce transit time. Ito na yung sinabi ko na we are trying to minimize the, the, the time we are spending underway or we are making sure that uh, it is the wisest route, no? The, the shortest route for us to take. Uh, diverting to a shorter track to take advantage of favorable weather and sea conditions would be good. For the ship, of course, because it will be, you know, lesser of fuel consumption. Uh, of course, the, the, the 
we could arrive earlier no we could arrive arrive on time you know, for our for our delivery of our cargoes as well so kailan po nagiging very useful yung mga weather routing agency na to especially kapag uh, longer voyage tayo if longer po ang voyage natin no at about probably 1500 miles or more no kasi pag longer voyage mas maraming possible na route changes na pwedeng magamit. So, gamit na gamit talaga si ship routing agency, no? So, weather routing agency natin. The, the waters are navigation navigationally unrestricted as well because syempre naman kapag restricted water, so there would be no choice for you to to use other trucks because you're on restricted waters. So, the a diversion on on your truck would not be a good one because syempre unrestricted Siyempre, restricted nga yung water sa atin. So, basically, no, it will be very useful no, paggamit natin ng routing agency kung nasa unrestricted waters tayo. No, we, we have that capability to and the flexibility to change routes. No? And at the same time, uh, kapag nasa lugar tayo na lagi tayo naapektuhan ng mga weather disturbances, yun, the best talaga na mag-subscribe tayo with the weather routing agencies na ito. Now, ang paggamit ng weather routing advisory service na ito does not relieve no, the commanding officer or, or the master. Hindi ibig sabihin no, na in-advise nila, na-recommend sila, is wala na responsibilidad si kapitan. Siyempre, no, or ang mga commanding officers natin. No? Siyempre, the last na kumbaga may, may makakapag-decide nito, at uh, the la- kung magan parang may last say no about sa sa voyage natin syempre yung yung mga officers natin at ang kapitan natin on board the ship of course no? because the master as i said is the uh, the commanding officer on board the ship siya ang pinakamataas at the same time no he will be having that responsibility on his shoulders to take care of the ship and the cargo and the crew and everyone on board the ship no and at the same time uh sa kasi yung nakakakita or si kayo no on board the ship no sila yung nakakakita ng actual nangyayari sa sa barko mismo no sila yung mga nakakita ng actual so basically whatever is recommended by the agency would be just be recommendatory only and if if you think no it would be useful that you could use but if wala uh, maybe you could change a little bit or something you use it as a reference for you no bilang officers on board the ship. Kasi kayo yung nakakita ng what is actually happening. And you could assess no, based on what you are seeing, what you will be experiencing. So, no, and based on your judgment. Kasi kayo yung gagamit ng barko eh. Kayo yung navigate So, basically, uh, kayo pa rin may responsibility. Hindi pwede na i-relieve lang yung responsibility na yan. So, how does this ship routing made possible? The advent of extended range forecasting had happened kasi. You know, you, we, we could forecast in the next days, in the following, kumbaga, next days, or in the next hours, no? Ganun po ka lakas ngayon ng ating technology, no? Wherein napaka-sophisticated niya and made our life easier, not that easier, and advanced as well, no? We have also selected climatology, we could choose whenever we want only to check for the uh, wind system only. We could check with the uh, with the uh, uh, atmospheric pressure only. No, we could select in which uh, weather condition we want to uh, derive. And at the same time, no, with the powerful computer modeling techniques, you know, po, kasi napaka ang bilis bilis pong magabanse ng <laughs> ng 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 ating ano ng ating uh, tawag dito ng technology no last year may ganitong nirerecord may ganitong discovery may ganitong innovations pagka next na year meron na namang bago so masyadong mabilis ang facing ng technology no so weather routing natin no the weather uh, that's the wind and the waves no will together with ocean currents of course influence the power needed to propel a ship Siyempre, dahil nakalutang yung, bar- yung, yung barko sa tubig, no? and it will be exposed to different wind, to the waves, the ocean currents, of course, it will be affected. And 
it should always be a factor no, in identifying the routes that we'll be uh, using. No? Therefore, it is important to, yes, as I said, no, to take these factors uh, importantly no, when planning. No? Of course, to minimize the negative effects no, or negative influences. So, in the next slides, we will be discussing about the applicability and assumptions of the weather routing, the cost of implementation, reduction potential, and historical perspective natin. Now, the applicability and assumptions natin. The longer the voyages are, the more route choices or magiging flexible ang ating route. Now, the ship has in order to avoid unwanted weather conditions. Uh, Siyempre, we could divert into safer routes, no? Yun nga lang, no? we have still to consider if it is safe, safe if it, uh, how much ang distance na malulugi natin, if, as well, the amount of fuel that you have on board the ship, if sufficient po siya sa, sa route na gagawin natin. All ships at all ages can poten potentially install the system no? because yun na nga, ang sinasabi natin, some of the companies had found that this uh, routing, uh, agencies no, or this weather routing na style had helped a lot and had saved a lot of money and has, uh, had made the, the shipping industry safer. So, they're trying to kumbaga, adapt kung ano yung mga changes sa technology and advance, advancement no, sa ating mga innovations. No? The choice of the most fuel-efficient route still no? part pa rin siya ng, sa decision making natin which route we will be using and yun po if it's fuel efficient no mas maganda talaga pag uh, reduced fuel consumption yung yung mapipili nating route no and uh syempre because uh, ito due to reduced resistance from wave and wind because we will be choosing uh, a lugar kung saan maganda yung weather doon then uh, it will be good no, for for that ship to navigate through because, you know, the it will be lesser stress sa ating propeller and, you know, the mag reduce ang consumption of fuel natin. There might also be benefits no, for the seafarers as well, maging less patig tayo and uh, the damages that uh, the weather could bring us will be lesser ang hazard no. Cost of implementation, the system is estimated daw at around 15,000 US dollars per ship to install and in addition, an annual subscription of 3,000 US dollars, yung sinasabi nila. Actually, mas mabuti nang mag-invest no? mag sa mga ganito kasi para ma make sure natin na safety kasi naman magbayad tayo ng mga damages, no? mas malaki yung mga, mga babayaran natin at mga liabilities. Reduction potential, the potential has been assessed to between 0% to 5% on main engine fuel consumption dependent on the ship size and type and the typical trade for the different ship segments. Let's proceed with the historical perspective of our ship routing or the weather routing. So, uh, with Benjamin Franklin, no, uh, he started this, he collected where the, the observations sa ocean currents natin doon sa North Atlantic Ocean. And then, he tried to plot it in a chart until he got this Gulf Stream na chart. No? And he discovered the Gulf Stream. Wherein, kasi, di ba, ang flow ng, 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 ng ocean current doon, no? ang tubig doon, pa ganun. So, the tendency would be, kapag ang barko mo, example, galing dito, pupunta ka dito, tapos dadaanan mo yung Gulf Stream na yan, it would lead your vessel into a slower speed. No? Magiging slower yung barko mo. So, to take advantage, of course, of the, tawag dito, the, the, this phenomena, it would be better if kung galing ka dito, pupunta ka dito. And, actually, sa, sa mga, the next slides that we'll be having, no, as well, and for, I know that some might be, no, they have this information, dito banda, the current will be papunta doon. So, there might be possibility that uh, it's good for us to use a little bit dito na, na voyage. But of course, no, the Great Circle Sailing, kinoconsider din sa paggawa ng ating route. Now, uh, yun, nakagawa ng 
ng mapa na makikita natin yung Gulf Stream na yan. And at the same time, no, na-discover nila and ginamit na ng mga different sailors natin and they found out no, that they reduced no, as much as 14 days no, to their sailing time. In the mid-19th century, Matthew Fontaine Maury compiled large amounts of atmospheric and oceanographic data from ship's logbooks. So, nag-collect siya na nag-collect, no? but the good news here is that pinlat niya, nilagay niya sa isang chart, and then yun, no? nag-recommend sila ng mga routes that would be better and would be advantageous for the seafarers. So, yun, meron tayong Mori chart na yan, no? Hanggang sa inadapt ng US Navy natin at ng mga private meteorological groups, no? Wherein, kumbaga, sila na lang din yung nag-analyze ng mga weather na yan at nag-recommend ng mga ruta, no? Hanggang sa, yun na nga, parang naging, uh, pa, naging ano siya, ng mga companies, ng mga private agencies na yun. So, by applying the available surface and upper air forecasts, no? to kung ano man sa shipping natin no we could possibly and effectively no avoid heavy weather or weather damages as well no and we could sail safely no and have shorter routes so the development of the computer the internet and the communication technology has helped a lot talaga nakatulong talaga siya no so naging automated na no ang pag uh, interpret natin sa weather, they could recommend, no? Kasi da da dati siyempre, ang ginagawa is that pag email sa'yo, ikaw magpa-plot, dito ka gaganon, gaganyan, no? But, yun na nga, as I said, no? Ang bilis ng phasing ng, ng advancement ng technology, this was made already also available. Yung mga ano nito, or ini-email siya, ang parang chart na yan, or parang synoptic chart siya, No? na may uh, updates on the weather. Na minimum time tracks natin makes use of a navigation system to compute route distance, time and route, and estimated times of arrival, no? and to provide 6 hourly DR synoptic positions to, for the range and dynamic forecast of the ship's current track. No? A surveillance system as well to survey the wind, seas, fog, and ocean currents no? obtained from the dynamic and climatological fields no? from uh, different weather stations natin. No, so, yun po, meron tayong parang surveillance system natin. And as well as, they try, they're try they trying to tailor fit the the observations and the track, no? the, the track or the route rather, the route to be used to kung ano man ang type ng barko nung nakasubscribe sa kanila. No? So, yun po, no? an environmental constraint system imposed as part of the route selection and surveillance process. Constraints are the upper limits of the wind and seas desired for the transit. They are determined by the loading, speed capability, and vulnerability. The constraint system is an important part of the route selection process and acts as a warning system when the weather and sea forecast along the present track exceeds the predetermined limits. So ship speed and characteristics used to approximate ship speed of advance, SOA, when transiting the forecast C states natin. The criteria for route selection reflect a balance between the captain's desired levels of speed, safety and comfort, and consideration of operations such as fleet, maneuvers, fishing, towing, etc. No, could be considered. So the ship routing uh, services are being offered by many nations already. This includes Japan, United Kingdom, Russia, Netherlands, Germany, etc., and the United States, of course, etc., etc. Uh, private sectors as well, no, or private firms as well, no, they are also having these routing services, no, and, siempre they have this uh, uh, PC-based software applications, which uh, are available at sea as well to some ships. There are two types of routing services now available. The first. They use the technique similar to the Navy's OTSR system to forecast conditions and compute routing recommendations which are then broadcast to the vessel. The second one assembles and processes weather and sea conditions data and transmits this to the ships at sea and on board processing and generation of route recommendations as well. So the first one nun, sinasabi dito, no? the, first uh, the first type na ito is that... Uh, kung magaginagawa na yung, yung route na yon at saka ipinapasa na on board the ship. 
So, sa short pa lang, ginagawa na sa yung, yung root na yan. And then, nire-recommend nila. No? So, they require a powerful computer, no, a short with, with that system that analyzes the root. Yung pangalawang type is that it allows the flexibility to the ship's master in changing the parameters, no? Evaluating the scenario, selecting the root, because ang nangyayari doon is papadala sa barko yung mga weather observation na yon, and then sa program na yon i-install siya, i-update, yeah, tapos yun po. Uh, we, we get we get that, uh, or the, 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 the crew, no, or the master had that chance, no? Have that chance to select whichever root which is applicable sa kanila. They are considering, ito na nga, lagi natin sinasabi dito sa video na to, ship size, speed capability, and type of cargo are important considerations in the route selection process, fighter sailing, and surveillance procedures while underway. So, ship and cargo considerations. We all remember, we should all remember, no, the the faster our ship, no, and uh, the lighter it is, no, kung medyo hindi, magaan siya, no, Kumbaga, it's like the shorter routes will be having or the distance that we use to 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 go underway or to travel from that one place to another would be parang shorter siya. Now, the times we spend underway is shorter. Now, if we are slower and then heavy pa tayo na, na, na barko, it seems that the time we are traveling is a lot longer and it seems na parang distance na na ating na, na ano na consume kumbaga would be that uh, long enough so talagang kailangan sa i-consider no ang mga factors na ito whenever we are selecting a route the ship performance curves uh, speed curves natin are used to estimate the ship's SOA natin while transiting the forecast sea states and a diversion may not be necessary sometimes no for example no nakita nila no, or nakita ng mga taga-barko na kaya namang mag-ride on, mag-ride out ng, ng barko sa, sa weather na yan, kakayanin niya because they're trying to maintain a certain uh, estimated time of arrival sa isang certain port or they're trying to kumbaga uh, weigh things naman and for them, they think they think that it would be safe for them then they could uh, uh, ride out with that weather and at the same time, no? Some reduce the speed and voluntarily, uh, some reduce speed voluntarily or they change their heading sooner, no, mas earlier. Or they could change na lang pag whenever they think na kumbaga kailangan talaga para to avoid that uh, bad weather condition. Now, they are also, or we are also trying to consider the hugging and the sagging the, the, the sagging and the hugging condition of our ship, no? Kasi kapag, for example, itong sa, sa, sa sagging natin, ang, ang weight is mabigat dito sa gitna and light, medyo lighter dito. And kapag nag, nagkaroon ng waves and mag, isosuspend yung middle na part, the, the, the tendency would be uh, ang magkakaroon ng tensile stress or mag, kumbaga, mag-expand yung yung ating steels, uh, ating, sh ating ship structure dito, tendency mo, masisira ang ating barko, mag-break siya. Ganun din ang mangyayari dito, for example, if ma mabigat yung nasa dulo, at saka sa dulo, sa forward and the aft natin, and dito magaan, kapag may wave siya, nag-suspend ng, at isosuspend ng weight sa forward and the aft natin, no, the tendency is masisira yung barko. So, iniiwasan po natin yun. Environmental factors natin. So, Environmental factors of importance to the ship, no, whether routing natin, are those elements of the atmosphere and oceans that may produce a change in the status of the ship's transit. Ang consideration natin, ang kinoconsider natin yung wind, sea state, fog, ice, and the ocean currents as well. Now, we always want to have that optimum routing na, na, na discuss natin na, kanina, wherein we want that uh, maximum safety minimum fuel consumption, and the minimum time spent for the voyage. Wind. We, we lose speed if... We need to understand that we lose speed if we are headwinds. No? On, on headwinds. Eh, ibig sabihin, pasulong yung hangin. We're in hangin papunta dito, tapos ikaw, uh, parang sinasalubong mo siya, 
So, baba na talaga yung marko natin noon. But if the wind is following us, it could be quite advantageous on our part. It will become favorable to us kasi itutulak niya yung barko, medyo lesser ang pag uh, uh, exert ng effort ng barko natin to, to navigate kasi itutulak siya. No? So we could save time, we could we could increase our speed and uh, yun po. No? So high winds will have a greater adverse effects on large uh, fully loaded container ship or car carrier than a fully loaded tanker of similar length. Also, yun na nga po, kasi ang air draft, for example, uh, mataas. No? That would affect the, the ship natin. No? Yun po. Uh, wave action is responsible for ship motions which reduce propeller thrust and cause increased drag from steering condition uh, corrections natin. So, ang wave height affects as well no our uh, routing natin sa, ng ating barko fog the fog may not be that uh, effective effective out there or may not affect the the movement of the ship yun nga lang kasi no if we if we can still remember sa deck watch natin or sa call regs natin that if we are transiting a restricted visibility na area we should have a, our safe speed no and that safe speed should be that speed na kaya nating mag change ng course or mag alter ng course in case of emergency and sometimes medyo binabagalan natin yon no Med, medyo binabagalan natin yon no or nagpapa standby tayo and that would uh, sometimes no create na kasi kapag nag slow down tayo our ETA would be affected, no? Our our the time we spent for being underway, the dadagdaga, no? So yun na nga po. North wall effect, no? So isa din po daw ito sa mga factors that could affect uh, weather routing natin. So the north wall is the is referred as the region of the most dramatic temperature change now between the cold water to the north and the warm Gulf Stream to the south. So, doon nag-mimik. Ang yun. And then, they, they experience, no? The, the most dangerous aspect of this phenomenon is that strong winds now are and extremely high na steep waves occur in a limited area and may develop without warning. So, medyo abruptly or pa, pa iba iba ng, ng weather conditions with that doon sa north wall na yung na area. Ocean currents natin. Of course, we had discussed din kanina that uh, ocean currents could be favorable to us, could be unfavorable, but we could always make it favorable to us. So, yun na nga, dahil na-map na yung mga ocean currents natin and identify yung trend, kumbaga, kung saan lagi pupunta yung tubig, na ano yung flow ng tubig doon ng ocean currents natin. So, magiging uh, isa sa mga factors na i-consider natin sa whenever we are route planning no? or creating a voyage for our ship. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko. No? Na probably, we could pass here no? to make our ship move uh, quite uh, faster compared sa dito na head kumbaga parang sa head mo no or parang sinusulong mo yung yung kuryente uh, na yon and that would make your ship move slower ice problems no floating icebergs could be hazardous to navigation baka mabangga tayo like the titanic no? and as well the deck ice kasi the deck ice would affect the stability of the ship natin yes po so, latitude, no? Generally, the higher the latitude of our route, even in the summer, the greater are the problems with the environment. So, sometimes, no, we, we choose the optimum routing natin, no, with the right uh, latitude, no? For example, towing operations north of about 40 degrees latitude should be avoided in non-summer months, no? So, lahat ng yun nasa ano naman natin, sa mga publications natin. And we just all need to remember that there are these things that are happening so that you could expect and you could look into the publications and confirm if there might be uh, hazards on your part no? when, whenever you are navigating on that area. 
climatological information from routing natin na charts and sailing directions for route planning. So sailing directions are written directions, no? Book, mga book natin ito, no? Describing the routes to be taken by boats and ships during coastal navigation natin. So various hydrographic offices po ang nag uh, publish nito and we are also calling it as our pilot books no kasi parang siyang they give you kasi di ba ang pilot is someone who gives us a local knowledge it it helps us navigate through that certain locality so parang pilot pilot din siya no? kaya tinawag siyang pilot books no? because it gives us the the knowledge about that locality so that we could navigate on that area safely so, yun po, uh, ang sailing directions natin for their home waters, no? they, they publish, no? some, certain, uh, some certain authority or government are issuing such uh, sailing directions as well. No? And uh, we have these uh, published by the Admiralty, the company, no? and the UKHO. So, yun po. We have, we, we, they have designed this one to supplement and enhance the data shown on our nautical charts. So that's why we have these publications natin. So, meron din tayong tinatawag na Admiralty Book natin na Ocean Passages of the World natin or OPTW. So, nas, so nautical publication natin so NP136, no, NP136 natin siya, where in, uh, it gives you recommendations to which uh, to which route na kan lang ira recommend no on that certain year on that I mean on that certain month no on that, on that certain time and as well as uh, kumbaga they're trying to give you recommendations no, to which courses you will be taking no, or to which area ka pupunta whenever you are navigating from one port to another so meteorological forecast it's not and Forecast charts no, are used to modify the route plan to utilize favorable conditions and mitigate adverse weather conditions natin. So, we receive this weather information and we are trying to, kumbaga, interpret, no, interpret natin yung, yung, tawag dito, yung, yung weather through that synoptic charts and forecast charts natin tatanggap. So, ito isang ating synoptic weather chart natin. Nakikita natin kung saan yung mga low pressure, ano yung mga atmospheric pressure sa lugar na yan, ano yung mga, uh, saan yung high pressure, ano yung mga frontal system natin, yun po. No? So, uh, these are actually discussed in Mikyo na subject. No? And we, we will not uh, dig deeper on those. No? But, just to give you the idea, no? the isobar, Isobars are spaced 4 millibars. Kung makikita natin sa synoptic chart natin, no? So, ito, ang 04 na yan, 0094, at saka, ah, 96, at saka 92. Ano yan? 1004, or 1004, 1000. Tapos ito, 996, tapos 992. Ganun po siya. Hindi po siya na 04 lang, 00 lang. Parang ano siya, sinorten siya para, of course, hindi naman masyadong uh, magulo yung ating synoptic chart. Kasi yun na nga. No? Kasi ang nangyayari, ito kasi black and white siya because na-receive natin sa weather facts. No? Sa weather facts natin ng board the ship. I-on mo yung weather facts na yun at certain time, no? And then magpo-print siya automatically. But, you know, with the advent of technology, the weather na colored, no? The, we the synoptic charts na colored katulad nito could be received through email naman by the companies. So, yun na nga po. Balik tayo dito sa ating discuss So, notice, um, meron tayong mga wind barbs din on our synoptic charts, no? And ito mga isobars natin, ito. No? So, isobars, no, yun yung mga area, area, yung area na yan dyan, no? Enclosed. Uh, pare-parehas yung atmospheric pressure nila. Kaya may isobars tayo dyan. And take note that this uh, atmospheric pressure that we are seeing are interpreted in millibars. So, yun na nga po. And they are increasing, papasok doon sa low pressure area natin. Kasi syempre, on, a, on the low pressure area natin, low po yung pressure doon at masama po yung panahon. Ang low pressure would, would mean medyo may weather disturbance doon. The high pressure would give us that 
uh, impreso na mas okay-okay yung weather doon. Opo. Meron tayong mga frontal system din na nakikita sa ating synoptic charts wherein ito ang tinatawag nating warm front at ito po ang ating tinatawag na cold front. No? So, ang warm front natin are represented by this, this uh, half circles. No? Half circles natin. And the uh, cold front naman, mga sharp teeth natin, yung mga triangular natin dito. But what happens here, no? if you observe, meron tayo dito ang occluded front. No? Ang occluded front natin, yung salitan yung triangle at saka half circle no and occluded na combine yung dalawang uh, frontal system natin on that on that area but we also have the stationary front no na tinatawag din natin where in ito pa yung symbol niya kung manonotice niyo parang dalawang kulay siya at saka at the same time on magkabilaan yung ano kabilaan yung yung mga shapes no Uh, sa stationary front natin, doon yung area na halos walang galaw yung frontal system natin. May mga wind barbs tayo dito, no? Wind barbs natin. Wherein, ang wind barbs na yan would point, no? Would point. Ito, papunta doon. So, ibig sabihin, the wind is going there. The wind. Kung saan yung parang tail niya or yung parang feather niya, doon papunta yung ating wind. And that, For, for every line that we are seeing here, no? Kasi kapag bilog lang, calm. So, kapag may linya na siya, tapos may parang isa sang sungay na maliit, 5 knots yan. Kapag isang full na malaki, that's 10. So, kapag ito, isang full, it's a, isang kalahati, 15 ito. Dalawang full, 20. Tatlo, at saka isang kalahati, so 35 siya. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10 kalahate 5 so 35 siya. At saka itong flag is 50. Usual talagang kapag nakakita ka na ng flag yun po. Ibig sabihin medyo mag-ingat-ingat na po tayo diyan kasi 50 knots na yung nung speed ng mga wind diyan, no? So yun po. Kung ano notice niyo po natin, ang wind barbs natin is pa paturo po sa paloob sa low pressure area kapag sa high pressure po palabas. And yun po, no? So, that's all for our for our first topic on our lesson one, no? which talks about the weather routine services that we have sa ating voyage planning part, no? So, I hope that you learned something from this video and I will be trying to uh, make, my, make time no, to produce videos like this to discuss our lesson. No, kasi syempre ito, uh, we are specifically making these videos for those na medyo nahihirapan na mag-access ng, ng lessons during our mandatory synchronous learning days. No? And medyo hindi nila napipick up masyado yung mga, yung mga lesson or something like that. For at least no, with the use of these videos, I hope that uh, we are learning. No? So, thank you so much po and God bless and thank you sa panonood. Uh, we will, I will be posting more videos for, for you guys. Thank you and stay safe po. Ingat po lagi and God bless. Mm -hmm.